you know, let, let me answer because I get the point. Mm -hmm. Human Im imagination is, is capable of a whole lot, but it's always a re rearrangement of what he already knows. Okay, the horse on top of the donkey, whatever the example was, okay? What it can't imagine, and the pagans prove this, is that, that all people are created in the image and likeness of God and see this beggar on the street, we have a moral obligation to lift him out of his pain because he's as valuable as the nobleman. Inconceivable in pagan times. Inconceivable even in modern times as Mother Teresa proved. She goes into a culture that has a completely different ethic. And what does she do? She takes care of the poorest of the poor. They've never seen anything like this. Right? And it changes their awareness so profound. It was inconceivable. But it resonated. Pardon me? But it resonated. It spoke to the conscience. Right. So that when she died, the Hindus proclaimed her a saint. They proclaimed her a saint. Did you see her funeral? Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people because this simple moral truth that brought liberation to, to, to their souls and the way that they saw the world, that was inconceivable before she picked up that first beggar and, and started picking the maggots out of his wounds. That's what the early Christians did. Yes. Would you say that that is the essence of what Christianity is and the way it manifests itself in the world? It's not, it's, all these, uh, not all these peripheral issues that we argue about, fight about, and these accusations and these types of things, but that in itself yeah. is, that so, is... So Christianity isn't evil, as some would try to project, no. but that is, this, that is the essence of what it means. It's, it's the absolute essence of Christianity, and we know that because the king of all creation, him through whom the word was spoken, let there be light and was light, was crucified on a cross as a common criminal. He died in abject humiliation and abject poverty. Yes? Wait, so the essence of Christianity is sacrificial love? Yes. The essence of Christianity is sacrificial love. No greater love has than your love. Pardon me? No greater love has. No man greater love has any man than to lay down his life for his friend. And that's why we as Christians, that places a tremendous moral obligation on us, okay? Doesn't mean we all go to India and become Mother Teresa. But it does mean that we discern for ourselves what our calling in life is, and we always shape it in terms of love to the neighbor. And then when we're called to give that, that love sacrificially to whatever level or whatever context, we must do it. Otherwise, we're nothing but Christian in name only, and then we become, you know, if we ignore that and don't do that, then we become part of these multitudes that's, that, that are full of empty words and do nothing. Yeah, you touched on last night the idea that um, some schools of thought have no answer to, to evil and cruelty in terms of how to prevent it, how to stop it, how to change a man's heart, how to, you know, those types of things, and maybe you could touch on that in a minute. Well, I would say that the materialist cannot believe in, 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 in the existence of evil, okay? Materialism does not allow for the existence of evil, because if everything is a material process. Does okay. that matter good? Pardon me? Can I believe in goodness? Only in some vague abstract way, and, and, and it's, it's, shuff, it's, it's subject to the shifting currents of the culture. This is why... You know, this is why Dostoevsky, this is all his books, he saw it coming. And he, he said when men quit believing in God, they believe in anything. And his countrymen ended believing in this illusion of a new Jerusalem that we could build here on earth that opened the floodgates of this demonic barbarism. Okay, so... So why did, why did that happen? Well, it happened because they left off any kind of transcendent reference, thus any, any, tra any real authoritative check on their own decisions and their own behavior. And part of the spiritual blindness that results because of that is the inability to see evil as evil. It has to be explained by some other way. What happens, though, is you can't deal with the vicissitudes 
vicissitudes of human nature, and so, so it's easier just to eliminate the people that become your problem. That's what happened. That is the sum of the atheist, of the atheist project in this century. It's, 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 it's simply indisputable, historically indisputable. All, there's more, there's more people that have died in the last century than all the centuries leading up to in Western history, okay? More Christians have been persecuted in their faith in the last century than all the centuries leading up to the last one, okay? And, and every place that Marxism has been tried, which is to say, say, atheistic materialism, okay? It's the same result, no exceptions. 